watching loads of Disney films recently because you guys now know we are heading to California real soon. So I have been watching loads of Disney films, getting super excited. So at the moment I have got The Incredibles on. And now it's time to put away all the clothes that I folded up earlier. Um, I got up super early at 6 with Tom this morning because he had work that early. And I had work at half past 8. I then went and finished work at 12. And now I'm home after doing some shopping and whatnot, and it's about 3 o'clock now. And yeah, it is hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. This is the best bit. Edna Mode suit design, like, showcase. But I do have a couple of other things on this bed, which are just down here, which are from TK Maxx, which I went the other day with Tom. I'll pop in the tiny few clips that I took here. Right, so we have come to Homesense today. Well, technically we're coming to Hobbycraft over there, but I'm going to go into Homesense and have a look, see what they've got, because it's autumn time, even though it's July now. So well, let's head on in. It's spooky season <laughs> in July. <laughs> There's so many spooky things already. It makes me so happy. Look at it guys, there's a strawberry, there's a big strawberry and a raspberry, how cool are they? They've also got some like lemon plants, that's so cool, I'm obsessed with plant pots, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how happy they are, happy haunts. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're such distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> I really want a Halloween cushion. And I'm determined to find one. They've dedicated a whole section to it already and it's only July. Look at the pink ghost. That's cool if you have a brightly coloured home. Whoa, that's such a fluffy pumpkin. There's so many fluffy pumpkins. <laughs> Whoa. A pink one. That's crazy. I love it. I found this one and I actually really like it. I think I'm gonna get this. £15. Pretty good. I like it and these ghosts are super soft. This, this is super cute. Look at that. I might get that. That's so nice. We hardly have any Halloween mugs. Ah, oh, look at this one too. That one's cool. I feel like it would be annoying to hold. But what was the other one that I liked? Oh, I like the mushroom one. And... Oh, is this one over here this pumpkin one that's cool I like this one as well let's get spooky the smiley face ghost look how big this one is he's crazy yeah. <laughs> I like this um, bookshelf as well I wish we could have that for the living room but it's like 200 pound 300 pound crazy you guys would appreciate how much I need these hair clips. Look at them! They're so cool! I first saw, well I've seen these as well now, look at the sea creatures! They're so cute! But I first saw the pandas! <laughs> They're crazy but I love them! What are they? Mushrooms! But, these are the two things I got! The mug is so cute! Super, super, super cute. So autumnal, perfect for September, October, November time. I love it so much. And then the cushion is amazing. The ghost is so soft. It's like fluffy felt and then just linen. And it's great, I love it. It's so good. This was 15 and this was only £5. Which is crazy! It's so good. So ready for spooky season now.
just on one side. But it didn't work. I tried to put the brownies in the bottom, but it didn't work. This is it flipped over. Never mind. I'm going to try them for pudding. I've made us pasta bake for dinner. I'm going to give them a go for dessert. Good morning, everybody. It's a couple of days later. I got so wrapped up in watching The Incredibles while putting all my clothes away the other day that as soon as I knew it, Tom was home from work and I had to make his dinner and I did his katsu curry and I don't know if it's for anybody else but it always reminds us of Epcot <laughs> and just sitting eating a cutlet curry waiting for illuminations at tea time and just living your best life <laughs> um, yeah, katsu curry is always a Disney, Disney world number one meal for us so we always have to get it in Epcot but anyway um, I thought I'd put in here here was a good spot for me to put in a catch up because me and Tom went to London earlier in the month and I never put it in a vlog but Tom went to go and see ACDC and I went to go and see the Book of Mormon so I thought I'd put in the clips here because I also went to the Disney store and I'll show a couple of things that were in the Disney store so I'll put those clips in here so it's a new week and I have just dropped Tom off at an ACDC concert. So I'll pop in a picture here. Um, he's come to Wembley, it is Wednesday, and he's come to see them. He's come on his own because some of his friends wanted to come. But I've uh, just left him at the gate. We made some friends at the gate, so it's all good. He's going to stay with them. And I am going to go and see the Book of Mormon this afternoon, or this evening, sorry, which is exciting. I found the Taylor stairs because Taylor Swift here was before ACDC but someone made a mural on the stairs. It's really cool but obviously Tom is seeing ACDC. <laughs> Getting super busy now. We got here about an hour ago. But everybody's heading up here. <laughs> but, but when in London, Disney saw. They've got a bunch of stitch stuff out because it was 626 the other day but they've got some I've never seen these before they're cool they've got a new lounge fly and some ears these are munchling ears that mug's cool as well I need a new mug I'm itching for one I also really like this new up hoodie that they've got I don't think it is new because I recognize this print on the back but I really like that it has the grape soda pin on it they also currently have all of the crew stuff here, so it's the Dream 2024. If they had last year's, I 100% would have bought us something because we went on this last year, but it's 2024. But you can buy the Mickey, Minnie and Donald plushes in here, which I'm not too sure if I like because I like that you have to go on a cruise to get them. They have Inside Out 2 on the lift. Pretty cool! Look. Look at the grumpy Donald. <laughs> I don't know if I've just missed these coming out, but there's a bunch of mini water bottles, and this one is actually on sale, and I quite like it. Tom uses these all the time, but this one's like a mini one, which is cool because sometimes I don't want a massive drink, so I might actually get that. Cool! There's so many new mugs. These are awesome. I love like very subtle Disney things and these are so nice. And we don't have a Chippendale mug. I'm seriously thinking about it because it's a good size. But then again, look at these. Oh my goodness, I love this. <gasps> That's so nice. Oh my goodness, I might have to get this. Oh, that's so nice. They've got a Tigger on his own and an Eeyore on his own as well. I might, have, I might have to get this. Ah, so the water bottles are part of a, I think, back to school section. They've got all lunch boxes and water bottles and stuff. This Elsa and Anna one is really cute. I love this. You can tell I like Winnie the Pooh, but I like that classic Winnie the Pooh. That's so cute. That's good in the queue and I love this too. This uh, honey pot cookie jar is really cute. That Donald bag as well is so cool. That would be really cool for Tom, he'd love that. Oh my goodness, look at the Crocs. <laughs> I actually really love these. They're really cool. 
and there's some citrons. And Donald and Daisy are at the door to greet you. But now I've had something to eat. I went to McDonald's and had some Wi-Fi because my 4G's is being weird. But I am off to see the Book of Mormon, which is so cool. This is the first time I have ever seen a show on my own and it's Book of Mormon, I'm there, I'm actually that early so it proves that it's always Tom's fault <laughs> but I'm here, I'm gonna go in, see what they've got in the merchandise bit and then find my seat. So we've got a couple of jumpers, the hat and the t-shirt there's also a mug. There's a couple of magnets and pens. Key rings. There's my pins. I can't decide which one to pick because I don't know what the frog means. But there is a giant frog. And there's a tote bag and the CD. And there is all the prices. I am in, I'm in the stalls. I bought a last minute seat. I'm gonna try and find my seat. Okay, bye. I found my seat. This is actually one row. If I was one row further back, it might not have been perfect, but this is great. I am super excited. before the stage so if you get front row of the balcony it's actually really really close but there's loads and loads and loads and loads of like room in here too i sat down and my knees didn't touch the seat in front at all and i think it's the same on every single seat so really good <laughs> So we had a really fun time. I bought my mum actually the London Guard Mickey Mouse that I gave her for her birthday. I gave it her the other day. Um, but she loved it. She has a couple of Mickey Mouses. I bought her the uh, pirate one and the Peter Pan one from, I think, one from Disney World and one from Disneyland Paris. But they're all like symbolise things that we've done together. So we dressed up as a Peter Pan and Tinkerbell for a costume party once. And she loves Jack Sparrow. We always used to watch the Pirates of the Caribbean films together. And this year we went to go and see Cirque du Soleil together in London. And I was meant to buy it for her then when we went, but it wasn't there. So I did it as a surprise for her. It was there when we went to go see ACDC in the Book of Mormon, which was amazing. I really enjoyed it. It was strange to go on my own, like I said, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, even like the experience of going on my own, I enjoyed. And it was really, really, really good. It was made by the people who make South Park or directed or written or something and you could tell like it wasn't crazy crazy but you could tell um, but it was really good it was funny I think you have to have a specific type of humour to enjoy it but I think there's some bits that kind of passed me by but I still 
found other bits of it funny. There is a little bit for everybody. So I think it's something everybody who's old enough to hear all those swear words would enjoy. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend it if you want to go down and have a laugh in London. Book of Mormon. My ticket was only, um, was it £50? £60? Something like that. On the day. I bought it with um, tickets, TKTS, on the day. Because I was just like, I'll just see what I fancy watching on the day. Because um, it was either that or I think Heather's was running. There was Hades Town, which my friend said was all right. It was he wasn't sure on it, so I didn't do that one. And there was also Mean Girls that I was contemplating, and I'm still contemplating going and seeing that one, to be honest. So yes, glad we went to go and see Book of Mormon, or I did. And Tom really enjoyed ACDC as well. Um, he had a really good time and I made friends with some people in the queue for him because I waited in the queue until he could go into a bit that I couldn't go into. Um, so yeah, made some friends in the queue and he stood with them for the entire show I think. So And he got really close, I'll put in a screenshot here, there was a clip that he got so close that he is in the film from the stage. Someone films the crowd from the stage and he's like fourth person back or something like that. Um, so yeah, he had a great time. But I wasn't willing on spending over £100 that he did on ACDC tickets when I'm not a massive fan. Like, I would rather go and see a show that I've not seen that he's not too bothered about seeing. So, we had a good day. We had a nice, like, time together and time apart. So, yeah. Recommend if you guys have a, are in a couple that you both... Enjoy. Anyway, we're back in the spare bedroom because I've received my Shein order that I placed. And everything's all come at once, which is great, because sometimes they come separately. And... It's all things that I bought to wear in Disneyland and it's exciting. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a try on each straight all on. So I thought I'd do a little haul with you guys. Um, I've got a couple of things that I can wear like not in Disney World as well. So yeah, and I also need to choose some stuff because we are cl creeping closer to the start of August now. And that will mean it's only a month away, which is mad. And I'm still trying to sort out my costume as well so because some part of this haul is to do with my costume I'm going to tell you now I have decided I am going to go as Captain Jack Sparrow to Oogie Boogie Bash. Tom is still working on his and I'll let him tell you what he's doing but I am going as Captain Jack Sparrow but like a female version because I've decided I'm going to wear shorts. I didn't know how I wanted to do it but I've bought some shorts um, so I'm going to go as Semi Disney bound, more than Disney bound, not quite a full cosplay kind of thing because I'm not going to obviously do like a beard and all of that kind of jazz but I'm going to try and go as close as I can but also still be like styled if that makes sense. I don't know. Tom's going full whack like wants to look exactly like this person for his costume and I am not that hardcore so... I will show you what I mean anyway as I get them out. But so my big bag. Let's get all the little packets out. So I've got a this is a little polka dot, which is flowers, not polka dot skirt. Oh, I got a little fan. I bought this for obviously in California because I don't know. Does anyone know what September October time in California is like? How Hot is it? <laughs> oh, it's a baby! <laughs> Ooh, ready? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. Mm. <laughs> I've also got a little tie up top, some brown shorts, which I was telling you about for Jack Sparrow. Well, the shirt that I bought to make into Jack Sparrow's shirt. Hmm, spotty dress. And flowery dress. Nice. Okay, let's go flowery dress first. Okay, so I'm not 100%. <laughs> I don't really like things that don't have that much of a body. Like, they have a chest and they're not really too much of like a waist before it goes into the skirt. So I'm not too sure on this. I also don't know about this. <laughs> the frills are a little bit too much. Like I think it just makes me look a bit strange. And I also was hoping it has this little tie here. 
I was hoping it would be a bit higher because now the sleeves keep falling down. So I don't think this is the one, which is really sad because that means the spotty one's also not the one because they are the same. Oh no, this is, oh this is made slightly different. This is straight. The sleeves are pretty long though. And the tie on the back is a bit higher on this one. Okay, I will try this one on, but sadly, I don't think this is the one for me. It's a nice length, like it's just just above my knee. I'm five foot six, seven ish. Um, so yeah, but no, it just falls down too much, and it's like I don't think tying this up tighter would do anything about that. It would just tighten this front bit. So. <sighs> Never mind. I was hoping for some nice autumnal colours in the um, in the park. So never mind. <laughs> this is just not the one. Okay, this one is cute. I think with an iron because <laughs> it's very crinkled. This bit's a bit like baggy here, so I keep pulling it down to try and make it a, a wider part of my body. Um, but this one's cuter. The bow is higher, so you can actually see what it's doing. I do like this one more. I'm just not sure on the frills again. I'm actually thinking I could take the frills off and just have it as like a square neck thin strap dress. Is it too too much? Is it too bright? I don't know. It definitely needs an iron. A really low iron because it's definitely that thin material. But it could be cute. It could be cute in Disneyland and do some mini stuff, mini and Mickey stuff. Because fingers crossed it will be hot, so I think this one could do. I definitely think I would take the frills off because <laughs> I'm not sure about that. And then I could shorten the straps a little bit maybe. And this does have seams here, so I could shorten this top bit too. I kind of know my way around the sewing machine, so <laughs> I can do stuff to it. I think this one's a yes. I think I like this one because then I could also wear it maybe in Disneyland Paris with like a t-shirt underneath it if it didn't have these frills like a pinafore dress kind of thing so yeah I think this one's a yes next up is my two things that I bought to be Jack Sparrow now this shirt you can't really see on camera because of the daylight but it's a little bit yellow it wasn't so yellow in the picture but it's a men's shirt I definitely would need to open it up a little bit more um, just because that's how he has it because his is more of a baggy sh top I guess I don't know the texture's okay I think maybe I could put it in the like hand wash it with some bleach get the colour out a little bit I don't know it's just a bit yellow I could try and find some white dye but that's basically bleach isn't it I could look into it like I think the size of it is good. I can definitely um, do what I want with the sleeves and stuff. So, and open this up a bit. And that's good. So I think it's a yes to keep because it was so cheap. It was like £5. So, but I'll have a blue waistcoat on that I'm going to make. And all of his belts, some boots, the hat, the hair charms. Fingers crossed. But then... The shorts I think are good. They're like, I bought them slightly longer so that they were more like trousery, which I think works. They do need, everything kind of needs an iron, but I think these will be good. He obviously wears trousers, but I just didn't want to be 100%. Like, because I'm a girl and I'm not doing full Jack Sparrow cosplay in the sense of like beard and stuff, I didn't want to try and then it be a half measure anyway because I'm the opposite sex, if that makes sense. So I thought if I do a, a girl version, but still being Jack Sparrow, not just like a girl pirate. Does that make any sense? I don't know. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. The shorts are good. I like them. They've got pockets. I definitely wear them other than for the cosplay as well, which would be good. But I spent so long trying to get these buttons undone. And they're not real. They're just sewn on for decoration. It's an elasticated back. So... <laughs> I just spent so long trying to get them undone. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I I think this is good. So I was keeping the shorts on to show you 
the top, but the top comes with shorts, which is crazy, I didn't know, so I've now got a bonus pair of shorts, which are actually really comfy, and they're really good, they're a nice length, and they're not see-through, even though they're all white colour, they're like a creamy colour, same as the top, um, they're not see-through, because I've got like bright coloured underwear on today, and you just can't see it, which is crazy, so super happy with that, here's the top, it is nice, I like it, it is a cream rather than a white, and I do like it. I think because it's a tie up, I'm not 100% confident on wearing it and <laughs> not falling open. So I think I'm going to sew a little hook and eye or a button or something on the inside there to hold that bit together. But once that's done, then I like the front, I like the floatiness here. But the only bit I don't like is I don't know if I'm a puff sleeve kind of person. I always buy things <laughs> with puff sleeves and I'm not 100% on it. I definitely wouldn't wear it with these baggy shorts. I'd wear it with tight shorts or jeans or something. But I'm not 100% on puff sleeves so I think I'm going to take the elastic out of the bottom and then turn them up a bit and have them more as like floaty sleeves. And I think that's more me. So that, when I've done that, if you can imagine this slightly shorter and floaty rather than cinched in at the bottom, so it matches this kind of, then I'd be super happy with that. I always buy things and then like alter them a tiny little bit, but I'm happy with this as well. And bonus shorts, which I definitely wouldn't pair with this. It just makes me look very square. But apart from that, I love it. Great. Bang on purchase. <laughs> and last but not least is this skirt. So super cute. It's got these little flowers on it. So from far away it just looks polka dot. It's got little flowers on it and bonus pockets! <laughs> and I know just love a skirt with pockets. We never use them, but we love having them. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is. Let me put you down a little bit. Longer. So my knee is here. So it is longer, and I did think it had splits in it, but it doesn't. So I think I'm just going to add two short splits just up to the knee. So it's as much as it is floaty. I just don't normally go for things that cut off there, so I think if it has two little splits in it, it'd be a bit better. But apart from that, happy with this. I'm going to wear it in the park for the Disney tea. I kind of wanted something for if it's slightly warmer, no, cooler. <laughs> or if I want to be just covered up a little bit more. Um, sometimes when you're going on rides and stuff, you don't particularly want things that are super short. But yeah, this was my slightly longer, maybe more evening outfit. <laughs> um, obviously I've got lots of Disney tees as well so I wanted a skirt that would be, polka dot's good because obviously it's Minnie Mouse, um, that would be good for in the park that's not too busy or too over the top or too short. So yeah, and this one has pockets so it's great. <laughs> could probably do with one slightly shorter than this so I probably could turn this up a little bit but I think the slits will do. This is just a random length for me. I think it cuts me off at the wrong place because I have got this slightly too high as well. So now it's like this far away from my ankle, which is a weird length. So yeah, apart from that though, this is also a win. So just that first dress that was not a win, but pretty good going, I think. And also the top that I tried on that came with the shorts, I did that one in a large, so everything else I've done in a medium, but I did that one in a large because I go on measurements rather than the size, because I think that would have been a bit too tight for me in a medium, or it would have definitely like gaped in the middle, I wouldn't have been able to add a hook or something in that middle section if I bought a medium, I think it would have been too tight in like the shoulders or the chest or something, but definitely like go on the measurements, don't go on the sizes, sizes don't mean anything, just go on your measurements and everything will work out fine. <laughs> but anyway, I'm now going to put all this away, put the other dress back in the bag so I can send it back and remember to send it back because I hate sending things back. I don't know why, I just hate doing postal stuff. I hate sending things in the post. I just don't know why, it's just a thing that I have, I just don't send things in the post. <laughs> Everything turns up late from our post office and it just doesn't work out. So I just hate it, but I will do it. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the bag and I've done more washing because it's been so hot this week. I've done all the bedding and our coats and stuff to put away. So 
I put all of that away and watch, I think, onward this time. I'm going through all the Pixars. I've done Cars 1 and Cars 2. Why is Cars 2? Every time I forget. I always think, oh, it's just a, a film about like a race around the world. And I'm like, no, I keep forgetting. There's a whole spy backstory and they all think Mace is a spy and Michael Caine stars in it, which is crazy. But just why is this hit so much harder than Cars 1? I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, I've watched Cars 1, Cars 2, The Incredibles, Raya. Now I'm going to watch Onward. I just loving the Disney films at the moment because I'm just so excited about going back to Disneyland and I just have only watched a couple of them once or twice so I just need to watch them again. Things like Luca and things like the classics and the Aristocats and all that kind of stuff I've watched so many times but onward I think I've only seen once or twice so yeah I'm gonna stick that on get myself sorted get the this put away the rest of my washing put away have some lunch because I'm hungry and yeah be happy about it even though my filling came out my tooth the other day and I've just been so worried about it my dentist was like yeah you do need a filling it's fine though you just need a filling <laughs> so it's fine but ugh. anyone else just not like going to the dentist even though like I hate my teeth if you know me you know I hate my teeth um so yeah we just don't talk about that but just going to the dentist is just like Oh, it's infuriating. No matter what happens, it's infuriating and I don't know why. This one was so infuriating because I made an appointment to get it filled and then went to the appointment and they said, yeah, you do need a filling, make an appointment for a filling. And I thought that's what this was. Um, so it's always just somewhat infuriating and I don't know why, but yeah, anyone else have that? Just... <sighs> but anyway, going to try and forget about it, eat on the other side of my mouth because I'm that kind of person and... Cheer myself up. <laughs> okay, so it's now a good few days later. It's always a good few days later because I'm always heading off to work and then coming back and having a day off. My days off are never really together, so yes. <laughs> but it's a few days later. I'm actually now filming another vlog um, which will be the next video so you'll see that soon um, but I realised while starting a new vlog that I hadn't actually ended it on so I've come on to end the vlog but I also remembered while standing in the utility room that we have a new development as well happening sometime in the future um, with the we are getting our pergola for the back garden finally um, our next door neighbours have one the guy's just here so I saw him outside once and I was like oh who did your pergola? Who built your thing out the back? And he's like, I did. So we have hired him, he came round, and he measured up, and he had a look, he gave us a quote, and we liked it. So he's gonna come round and do it at some point, which is so exciting. I wish that we had it done for summer, but I don't think we will. Um, but at least then I can get stuff planted and like get everything clean and ready for next summer. So next summer we won't have to do anything, it'll all be ready. And yeah, we can finally have like dinner outside and it'll be so nice. Um, but yeah, so it's going to go here. You'll see it just coming out from the back doors next. But when we find out the day that he's coming, we're going to knock this wall down before that. And I really can't decide about whether to get any slabs or not. Look how fast it's all grown through. Um, I have got some stuff to put down, but I need to do it again <laughs> before, as in like get all the weeds out again before I put all the stuff down. And also now I can't decide whether to put the stuff down, as in like in between the slabs to stop the weeds going through. If we want to get new um, slabs, just can't decide. New slabs would be nice, but also there's nothing wrong with these. So, they're just not the right colour, are they? I just need to like clean them, bleach them up, and make them whiter rather than yellower. But, never mind. It, we'll have a pergola coming out like this. Yeah, it's so nice. But yeah, so I'm so excited about that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the rest of this video. It's been a nice July. We've not really done too much because it's been some holidays and obviously I'm at cinema working quite a lot. Um, so we've not done too much, but we've done a decent amount um, and we've done random things and I can't believe it's like spooky season is starting in July this year. Like everyone's so excited for it because the weather's just been so weird. Like today is just so grey. Like it was 
It's been great in the mornings, like when we've woken up, but then the sun's come out. But today's just been so great, it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's like spooky season is in the air already and it's still like just hit August. So, but yeah, it makes us excited for a holiday, a spooky season holiday. So yeah, we're getting there. It's not too far away now and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe ready for all of those vlogs in the future and we'll see you in the next one.